We're glad you're with us this evening. I'm Terry Brewer. Lynn Brooks is on assignment tonight. A Tuscaloosa family is getting a new start almost eight months after the April tornadoes destroyed the family's home. The details on their story are in our top story tonight at 5 o'clock. Camilla Coach and her three children are spending the first night in their brand new home tonight in Holt. That's thanks to Habitat for Humanity and other community organizations. Today they cut the ribbon and the family walked into their brand new start. A local Habitat for Humanity official says the organization is currently working on seven houses and hope to start on two more in the coming weeks. Camilla Coach says she's very thankful for everyone who helped. I'm very blessed. I'm happy. Um, I didn't really think this was possible that everybody came together and donated a lot of money and helped me get this house. And I'm really thankful for it. And thankful for it. We'll have much more on the coaches and their new home coming up tonight on WVUA News at 6 o'clock. New for you at 5 o'clock tonight, Christmas is here a little early for children at three Tuscaloosa schools. $2,000 worth of brand new books are now inside the libraries at Alberta Elementary, Holt Elementary, and University Place Elementary Schools. The book donation was possible thanks to the Alabama Humanities Foundation. The schools were destroyed in the April tornado. Alberta Elementary Principal Brenda Parker says they're very grateful for these new materials. Books are what makes children happy and it's such an essential part of our curriculum that uh, this is the most meaningful contribution that we could receive. When they started opening the books, we got all happy and now we get to check out the books and read them over um, Christmas break. The donations were made possible through a federal emergency grant that provides books to school libraries affected by the April tornado outbreak. The Tuscaloosa Forward zoning plan is less than a week away from going before the Tuscaloosa City Council. That's because the city's projects committee approved the revised plan from the planning and zoning commission. The Tuscaloosa Forward plan is the rebuilding plan for the city of Tuscaloosa. There were just a couple minor changes to the zoning plan. The projects committee approved the addition of tattoo parlors and tobacco shops in the restricted use category. However, there is no longer a minimum height restriction with the new zoning measures. And Tuscaloosa County is considering moving all of its 911 operations under one roof. Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox says he's spoken to officials from both the county and Northport. Mayor Maddox says he would like to see a spring deadline for a funding plan. However, Maddox also has concerns like what would happen if the Consolidated Operations Center took a hit from a disaster. Tuscaloosa's emergency management facility was destroyed in the April 27th tornado. And WVUA will bring you two encore presentations of Faces of the Storm this weekend. Faces of the Storm is WVUA's hour-long documentary based on the April 27th Tuscaloosa tornado. You can catch it Saturday at 9 p.m. and then again on Sunday at 2 p.m. You can also buy a DVD copy of Faces of the Storm. All net proceeds benefit the Tuscaloosa Disaster Relief Fund. To order, you can call 205-758-7588. On your crime watch, your chance to help fight crime in West Alabama. You might not think it's much, but your piece of information could be the missing link investigators need to catch a suspect. Here is this week's Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Hello, my name is Ted Sexton, the Sheriff of Tuscaloosa County. Thanks for your help in WVUA. We have three captures in this week's Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Randall O'Neill Hendricks was arrested on the charge of unlawful distribution of controlled substance, capture 337. Keith Allen Walker was arrested on theft of property in the first degree and other charges, capture 338. And William Heitch was arrested on the unlawful manufacturing of controlled substance in the first degree and other charges, capture 339. Again, thanks for your help. Three captures in this week's Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Now, we need your help in finding more of Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. James Patrick Martin is one on charge of unlawful manufacturing of a controlled substance and other charges. He's a white male, 38 years of age, 5 foot 7, 165 pounds, with brown hair and brown eyes. Last known to be residing on Smoke Tree Road in Northport, Alabama. Dwight Edward Jr. wanted on charge of burglary in the second degree and other charges. 
He's a black male, 30 years of age, 5 foot 8, 170 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes, and last known to be living in the 3100 block of Main Street Northeast in Tuscaloosa. Latoya Renee Colley is wanted on the charge of robbery in the third degree. She's a black female, 28 years of age, 5 foot 2, 235 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes, and she was last known to be living on Alberta Drive in Tuscaloosa. If you have any information on these as well as others wanted by the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office, please call us at 205-464-8672 or go to our website at www.tcsoal.org. You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and working together, we'll continue to make Tuscaloosa County a safer place to live. It's been one month since Chastity Michelle Helton was found shot to death in Northport. Her family is still searching for answers and investigators are still searching for clues. Last night, family, friends and law enforcement came together to remember Helton and to pray for help in catching whoever is responsible for her death. Helton was shot and killed in the Green Village Trailer Park in Northport on November 13th. Helton's mother, Wendy Winstead, says this holiday season will be especially hard without her daughter. She asks if anybody knows anything about her daughter's death that they come forward. I know that somebody knows, somebody has seen, somebody knows. It's just, that was baby girl. I mean, she was my baby. And I'm not going to stop till I find out who did it. The investigation is being handled by the Tuscaloosa Metro Homicide Unit. If you have any information, you can call Crime Stoppers and make a confidential call. That's 205-752-STOP, 205-752-7867. Well, some say a picture is worth a thousand words, but for one photographer, it's worth a whole lot more than that. Theron Humphrey is a traveling artist touring the country. He's using his love of photography to connect with people from all across the U.S. and tell their stories through photos. The name of his journey is This Wild Idea, idea Telling the Stories of Everyday People. His goal is to meet one new person every day for 365 days. Today he met with Emily Patterson, an 84-year-old Tuscaloosa resident. Shelton State Professor Alice Wilson shared with us why she asked Humphrey to visit her friend. She's so sincere and so loving and giving, and from the day I met her, I, I felt honored that I could call her a friend, and that's why I wanted to invite Theron, the artist, mm -hmm. to meet her. Uh, really celebrating the everyday, the, 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 just the simple fact that uh, folks exist, that they matter, and everyone has a story. Humphrey is on day 136 of his journey to learn more about Theron Humphrey's journey, this wild idea. Just go to WVUATV.com, click numbers and links.